Hey YouTube, it's All Things Pretty. I'm coming to you with a quick card share. I wanted to show you my Mother's Day card before I send it off in the mail. So, here it is. And hopefully the lighting is okay and you are able to see. And I really don't know the name of the paper stack that I use for this. Um, I'm just not good with keeping track of what I used. Um, but I know this is Recollections Bling. And this is one of my um, Sizzix flower dies. And then um, I don't remember where I got this crinkle ribbon from. It's from a, an Etsy shop. And I'm going to try to do better, ladies, with where I got um, supplies and knowing the names of paper pads. You'll have to forgive me. And then these are some flowers that I purchased at Michael's. Just um, random packages. I think they were from the $2 bin. And then I just wrote a message to my mom. I kind of kept it simple on the inside since I have so much going on on the outside. So that is my Mother's Day card. And I hope you all like it. I used to make cards a lot. And then... Um, I started getting into other areas of crafting and kind of got away from it, but I'm starting to go back to it. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Then I wanted to share with you um, two other things. So everyone has been into making their little candy stations. So I wanted to show you um, something that I put together. And I'll move this over. And show you this. So I saw, I'm sorry if um, it seems really close, but let me turn it this way. All right, so this top part is uh, just a glass that I got at the Dollar Tree in the candlestick holder. I just attached it to there, and I'm going to put this down and pull my camera back. And so there it is. And I just love the shape of that glass, the way that it's sitting on top of that candlestick. So I have two of those that I wanted to share with you. And then um, what I started doing was experimenting with colored glue sticks. And I've seen several videos about making charms with glue sticks. So I pulled out some of my um, resin molds that I used to use a lot. So I pulled out this one and a lot of my smaller molds. Um, this flower mold here. And oh, I was experimenting with this one here. It has a little double layer. And let's see. I'm trying to see. I think that's it. I had another. Oh. I was experimenting with this key because I have this lock and key mold set and I wanted to um, see how that would come out. And what I did was I used these um, colored glue sticks to make these. And hopefully you can see that. And I really like how they came out. It is flat on the back, as you can see. And I think they came out really cute. So I like this white one, and I'm going to try to um, paint it and maybe try some metallic colors and just some fun colors and see what they look like, because I think they'll be cute on projects. This one um, is a pink one. And it was just some glue that was already in the glue stick. I mean, in the glue gun. So I have these two. And I think they're really cute. I want to see what they look like on a project. Um, and then these were just some experiments. This one is the double that came in this mold. And I'm not really fond of the coloring. It's just that I had to use whatever, whatever's in the glue stick. You have to just push it all the way through. But, I mean, you could paint these up and do something really cool with these. So I have that. 
and they have um, these two flowers that were made from this mold and I do like how these came out and I'm really thinking that I would love to use these as flower centers and maybe if I don't leave them like this paint them up in some kind of way so I have those and then the last two I consider them to be fails but I think if I paint them they might be okay this one was a button and like I say, I had to use whatever glue was in the glue stick. And then this key, which I think would be cool if I could use like rub and buff or some kind of um, metallic like paint on this. And um, yeah, that would be cool. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to share before I let you go. And... I think that's it. So right now I want to thank you all for watching and I hope to come to you with a couple of videos and I think it's time for a giveaway. So I'll be putting that together and hopefully in the next day or so. Please stay tuned for my giveaway video. Thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.